Hi, I'm Dr. Gayatri Chatre, an OBGYN with Sharpie Steely Medical Group. Today, I'd like to explain to you some of the more common prenatal genetic screenings available in the early part of pregnancy. These tests are optional, and it's up to each mom-to-be to decide if she wants them. There are two basic categories of prenatal screenings. Screening tests evaluate the chance that your baby may have a genetic condition and that you might need further evaluation. Screening tests are available through the California Prenatal Screening Program. If a screening test comes back positive, then you'll be offered a diagnostic test. Diagnostic tests, such as amniocentesis and CVS, which stands for chorionic villus sampling, give you a definitive yes or no answer about whether your baby has a major genetic abnormality or a spinal cord defect. Let's take a closer look at screening tests. They use a combination of early ultrasound and two blood tests, or just two blood tests from the mom, to calculate the chance that the baby has a chromosomal abnormality or defect, such as a spinal defect. These screenings pose no risk to the fetus. However, there is no guarantee a negative result means there are no birth defects because no test can detect 100% of possible birth defects. If any screening test comes back positive, your doctor will refer you to a state-approved diagnostic center for an ultrasound, genetic counseling, and a diagnostic test such as an amniocentesis, which will be offered. In an amnio, doctors use a needle to withdraw fluid from around the baby. We do this test at about 16 to 18 weeks. The other diagnostic test is a CVS, where the doctor uses a needle to remove a small amount of placental tissue. The advantage of the CVS test is doctors can do it earlier in the pregnancy, at 10 to 12 weeks. These tests are used to determine if the baby has a major chromosomal abnormality, such as Down syndrome. It takes about two to three weeks for the results. Diagnostic tests have risks, including miscarriage. If you will be 35 years or older when your baby is born, there are other testing options available to you, and you can discuss these options with your doctor. As with any procedure, we recommend you check with your health insurance plan to find out exactly what's covered. As always, the best resource for questions about prenatal testing and other issues related to your pregnancy is your OBGYN. 